Hello. In this video, I'm going to cover how to manage your subscription via Bluebeam's org admin portal. When purchasing Bluebeam subscriptions, you will have to designate an org admin. Once purchased, the org admin will receive an invitation like this to create their Bluebeam ID or BBID. The first step will be to click the link from the email and fill out a brief form. Once the form has been completed and submitted, the new org admin will receive an initial email asking to verify their ID and a second email confirming they have admin access and can visit the org admin portal. To access the org admin portal, they can either use the link in the confirmation email or can log in at bluebeam.com by choosing org admin portal in the upper right hand corner of the site. Once they're redirected, they can select the US server location and enter their BBID credentials. This will log them into the Bluebeam Org Admin Center. In the Org Admin Center, you will have several options to adjust your subscription plan, download, review, or access Bluebeam Cloud through the Download Center, quick links to invite teammates or assign teammate plans, or if there are any questions, we have a link to our Org Admin Help Guide. Under the account section, we can select on our account name. This will bring you to the account administration page. From here, if you select account settings, you can review your account overview and address information. At the bottom of your account information page, there is a preference to change the default language. Changing this language will ensure new users will receive their invitation email in their preferred language. So make sure this language is set to your preferred end user's language. By selecting on the Hierarchy tab, you can review the hierarchy structure of your account, including total subscriptions and how many are allocated to basic, core, or complete product tiers. If you select the Subscriptions tab, this is where you can manage your active subscriptions and view expired, renewing, or future subscriptions. One of the most important responsibilities of the org admin is to create or edit existing users within your active subscription. To add new users or edit existing ones, select Users under Account Administration on the left side of the screen. Once selected, you will see an overview of all user information, including user type and status. We'll start by adding a new user. Select Create New User in the top right corner. I'm going to fill out a few details for the new user. Here, I can select if I want them to be an org admin, end user, or both. It's important to note that if I'm adding org admins to this account, they do not also have to be end users, meaning org admins do not need a subscription of review. Once you have completed this form, you can select save, and then you will be prompted to select a product tier. Anyone who will be using any Bluebeam product, such as Review21 or Bluebeam Cloud, must have an assigned product tier. By default, you are assigned read only. Once you select a product tier and save, an email will be sent to them where they will be prompted to create their BBID with the email address you assigned. When users create their BBID, they will set their preferred language, which will customize onboarding emails and set their review language preference. Under the org admin portal, you will see their user status as pending until they create their BBID. You can also assign multiple users to a Bluebeam subscription. Select the create new user button again and select the bulk add users tab. A CSV file can be downloaded and processed. 
Details on how to fill out the CSV can be found on the right side of the screen. Under the user overview, we can see all of the users invited by the org admin. We will see details regarding their first name, last name, email, server region, contractor subscription plan, serial number, the user type, either org admin, end user, or both, the last time they logged into review, studio, or Bluebeam Cloud, and their status. If at any point you need to edit an existing user subscription access, you can also do so under the user overview. For example, if a person at your organization no longer needs a paid subscription, they should be modified to an unpaid collaborator. This will allow the user to still use a read-only version of review and collaborate via studio sessions, but they will no longer be associated with one of the account's active subscriptions. If a user leaves your organization, you can deactivate the user by selecting the three dots to remove them from the subscription. They will no longer have the ability to use their BBID to access review, even as read only. If a user is deactivated, they can be reactivated by clicking the three dots. The user can also be permanently removed by selecting Remove User. This will make them no longer recoverable in the org admin portal. I hope that this helps you utilize your org admin portal with Bluebeam. If you need assistance when adding users to your subscriptions or assigning product tiers, you can find helpful articles at support.bluebeam.com. You can also submit a ticket for more assistance at support.bluebeam.com. Thank you.